You know, I, I just prepared this whole recording setup, and um, first of all, I think my cat is going to destroy it, and second of all, my neighbor is just staring over from that open window side. Makes it a little weird, you know. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys. Welcome, peeps. I think it's been quite a while, right? Like, I think I haven't uploaded for like a year or so, and uh, I wanted to share a few things while you maybe see my cat walking around at my bed. Hey there, Susha. Did you look at this cute little furball? She's a real cutie. So what has been going on? I wanted to speak a bit about a few of my experiences on YouTube. Um, some of you might know it, some of you might not know it. Maybe you think this is my first channel, but fun fact, I think I kind of grew up with YouTube. Um, I've been on YouTube for quite some time. I created my first YouTube channel when I was like uh, 11 or 12 years old with the sole purpose of recording myself on a little 4th ATP web recorder, playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl on my parents' TV, playing as Sonic against a level 9 CPU Ganondorf. Yeah, that's where all good stories start. <laughs> but why did I create this channel? Well, first of all, obviously to show the world how good I was at Smash with Sonic against a level 9 CPU. I was not. But second of all, I may not have been the happiest child, like not on the parents' side or anything. I think my parents are the loveliest people you could have and they taught me so much. My mother listened to me the entire way through, no matter what I rambled about. I am super thankful. To my skill at speaking and being communicative is all thanks to her listening to me ramble quite a bit. Please listen to your children. But school-wise I wasn't happy. I wouldn't say that I really had any friends, to be quite honest. Um, it was quite of a lonely life. Well, I did not have friends to talk about the things that really that I was really caring about. And the one thing that I'm really fascinated by is games. I've been fascinated by them my entire life. But nobody would speak with me. Nobody was as interested. And if they were, it wasn't the games that I played. I was super picky and gatekeepy back then. And it was just, I don't want to go into details, but I did not have the happiest childhood. Well, a friend of mine did Let's Plays and I enjoyed that format a lot. And I told myself, hey, why not? Why not record it? And I started doing Let's Plays as well as a 12 year old. I think the first thing I did was Borderlands. And I fucked up the sound so bad I lied to everyone that uh, the videos get deleted somehow by YouTube. Then it just cause Let's Play, had a whole series about us 4 League and Team Fortress and um, I think I gathered quite a good following with 2,000 people on the German side. It was my redemption arc. I learned to speak. I found friends. I first, I found the first friends in my life ever. I learned to trust in myself and know how to speak. I got better at speaking, public speaking. All of a sudden presentations were the thing I got best at because I was speaking to people the entire time. But why am I telling you this? No, first of all, I need to get these ear pods out. <laughs> I, I can't hear myself twice, that's fucking weird. <laughs> why am I telling you this? At some point, I wanted to do more than just Let's Plays, you know? Um, you probably know Game Makers Toolkit, SAS channels like that, right? And when I first saw them arise, I wanted to be like them. I thought to myself, yeah, what Mark Brown is doing, that's freaking cool. I want to be like that. And I can do that, right? I'm a design student now. I started learning design thanks to YouTube. YouTube got me all the skills to start my Bachelor's of Arts and now I'm a media and motion designer, which is pretty cool. It's I love that job. Point being is I saw Mark Brown do it and I thought I can do that. I want to do that. Just a small, tiny, stupid thing I brought with me. All I knew was Let's Plays and some funny edits here and then. I don't know if you ever did Let's Play, so you've heard bigger YouTubers like PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye who made these A Day With Me vlogs, but doing a Let's Plays, it still takes time, it still takes a lot of your mental energy, but it's really easy. You start a recording, you gotta act out for a bit, you like really need an hour a day to create four pieces of content. Most of the time I spent was watching my PC render that stuff. Did you know that like a 10 minute video took like four hours to render back then in like 480p. I love technology. <laughs> Point being is I took that workflow, I took that approach, everything I knew about YouTube, like yeah, I just do it real quick and I started trying to do these essays. I think the first video, the um, Hyperlight Drifter video was pretty cool. It worked out, it somehow got a viral push, which is pretty cool, but a, I lost my voice. Like, I did not know how to sound in English. I did not have the vocabulary or the way of speaking that I have in German. Uh, two, I wanted to be an analyst channel. The very first name of this channel was Analysis, Critiquing and Gushing on Video Games. That's a mouthful, I know. I don't know how I became a brand designer. <laughs> I shouldn't have. And I wanted to be like really neutral and explain things nicely, neutrally with nice animations and clean cuts. And I think I've created a few cool pieces back then. Like the Hellblade video is one of my favorite creations. Literally when I applied for my current job, that was my main visual that I created back there because I really loved the things, the animations and the looks that I did there with my fiance. The point being is, I fucking hated the process. <laughs> 
YouTube was such a fun thing for me, like, lower effort, connecting with people, a lot of friends came by, were created for YouTube, and they all watched the content, it was nice, easy going, but the game changed, but I did not want to change. I still wanted to do Let's Play content, and then I got annoyed by how hard scripting can be. Uh, honestly, writing a script, I mean, there's probably people that it's easy for, but it's a hard process, it's... You can overthink things a lot. You need to strategize YouTube completely differently now. Like back then, yeah, you, you could just create a let's play of a game that is currently popular and maybe the algorithm picks you up as it did with me for Team Fortress and a small leak and a bit of Splatoon. But you actually need to analyze things. Before I create this video, I need to think about calling it a way. I'm thinking about a thumbnail and it's a game I didn't want to play because it was still a hobby, right? And like, I don't, I don't want to work for my hobby. Fun fact and quick interception from post-production Andy. Um, just as I was about to edit that video, I watched a super eye-patchable video and I think he said it brilliantly in there and it's exactly my point that I'm trying to make. And uh, it's a fantastic video. Just please watch it and here you go. <laughs> but what I do know is that standing here saying this in my mid-30s is the one thing life has beaten into me is that the more you expect things to be what they were, the more disappointed and bitter you will become. There was some twist going on with I did school and YouTube was my hobby, but the hobby taught me everything about design, so I started studying design, and now design became my job. Now I'm doing eight hours of this design job just to go back and think about should I do YouTube, which again is a design job. The thing is, I don't think I ever really separated how I look at YouTube. Again, why am I telling you this? I have been thinking about deleting this channel so many times, honestly, and just stopping it because, um, well, I'm not creating content, but maybe I should do another piece again. What do you mean should do another piece? I didn't create content for a year, another year before that. And then while speaking with my fiance and telling her about, hey, uh, maybe I'll stop doing videos and maybe I'll, I wanna do a video game at some point, maybe I should learn Godot, which I still wanna do. Yeah, I'll just stop the whole YouTube thing. And she literally asked me like, when was the last time you did YouTube? And I mean like, I mean like, stop thinking about it. I just don't want to think about it. But did you ever really start? I was really caught off guard, like, did I ever really try? <laughs> I mean, I created one single video, disappeared for three years, came back because it kind of got viral and I thought I could ride that wave and I was disappointed that, oh, wow, a single video doesn't make people continue watch your content. You need to be behind that. But every time I wrote a piece of content, I had no commitment to it. It's not like I want to release it at the end of the month. It's done when it's done. And sometimes it was procrastinating and I didn't want to work on the content. So months. At times a year flew by without me really working on a piece of content. Like the longest time waiting I think was between the Hellblade and the Hunt video, which I think the Hunt video turned out pretty good, I enjoyed it. I think my issue is, I took my old approach of Let's Play videos, just doing a bit of work, low effort work and uploading it to it, but wanting to create way bigger content. And um, I somehow got lost in translation back there. So what do I want to do? I want to try something. Until the end of the year, I want to try to create a piece of content every two weeks. But I do not want to scope creep that. I don't want the videos to be longer than five minutes. I just want to limit myself, have a clear scope, don't make them too long. And what are the videos about? Usually I thought for being an analyst, you need to pick a game, play to 100% completion, maybe even do all of the achievements, and then you can talk about it. Let's not do that. Let's do genuine impressions. Let's just pick a game. And as I did before, just have a unique look at it, spin something around, speak about it in a funny, interesting way. I, I, I want to check which games I'm playing right now, think of funny titles and show them to you and whatever you think is interesting, vote for it and I'll do content about it. Right now, I do not know if I'm pointing this correctly because I don't see myself, but here are the titles or the games that I think about doing. If any of these, I think, four ideas sounds interesting to you, write me a comment, just tell me that you want to see it, because if just a single person, just a single person is interested in it, I know who I'm doing it for, right? I want to create content. Why am I watching YouTube? I'm finding joy that other people, other creators, want to create 
content pieces that make my day better, right? They have the skills to do so. And I think I have the skills as well. And I would like to know who I make happy. I would like to make a video that someone cares about. So if there's one on this list that you care for, hit me up because I would like to create it. You know how commitments work. Sometimes you tell yourself that you want to lose like 20 pounds or something for the year, but it doesn't work out. But at least you tried and maybe you lost two pounds, right? And that's the thing that I want to try to do. Maybe it fails, maybe I create a single video and I declare that this really is not for me and my ADHD also is not helping to do YouTube, who knows? But maybe it works out. Maybe I create one, two or four videos. Maybe a video until the end of the year and I keep my promise. What I want to find out is I want to actually freaking try to create YouTube videos with a commitment, with clear deadlines, with a strategy. Just see whether I'm cut out for this. If I'm not, then I know it, but I don't think I ever really tried. So, write me a comment of what you want to see, and hopefully we'll see each other in two weeks with a new video. I'll probably keep this setup because it's nice and easy, that's my bedroom. I recently just moved, so I don't actually have a cool space to record it right now. But I think that looks hella cozy, and you have a chocobo right there, and my cat is looking at my earbuds. Oh my god, she's so cute! Yo, yeah. yo, yeah, you're cute, you know it. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, pick a list. Uh, thanks for watching. That's about it. See ya.